okay so right now today I'll be demonstrating how to use the open pose video right how to use the open pose video um, how to extract images individual images for each frame using Photoshop uh, it's pretty easy it's not that hard and the reason why I use the mp4 format is because it's easier to use much of the a lot of softwares are compatible with that so my setup is basically just a string of normal prompts and a laurel that have been uh, trained and a some negative and then using the basic Illure A and a high risk fix and basically the newest control net we are using so uh, right now we're in Photoshop as you can see this is what will happen when you drag and drop the video you have downloaded from my pack from my file. All you need to do is open the file, click on the MP4 video, and just drag and drop into Photoshop, and it will just automatically set up for you. And right down here, we have a tiny timeline, and then this open post dancing video is uh, 30 seconds long, uh, 30 frames per second. So so you can just click play and you'll see it's blurry it's okay it's normal as soon as you find a pose that you want to use just pause it and it just automatically set up and it just automatically clear up and the format for this is 512 pixels times 768 so it's like the usual normal size for uh, for stable diffusion, most of the software, most of the hardware, right, most of your PCs should be able to handle this kind of stuff. And the background is automatically black, so you can just right now click here and just export. You can click export or export as whatever, and then just save your document and just save as much as you want. Right, you like this one, just save this one, you like another one, and then if you think this is not very intuitive, you can use this and just drag and just just pause whenever you want. You can speed up, and then this is just a test dance motion that I've applied to this open pose model I've created. All right, you can just pause at any time you want. And then this is just like a large variation of poses you can choose from and just, just pause it. So basically the reason why I created this mp4 document uh, is because it's easier for you guys to understand what the pose look like instead of just a, a bunch of images in different angles. I just think that maybe just create a video of a front view of this open pose will be much easier. Okay, so back to stable diffusion. As you can see, I have dragged and dropped the exported image from my video. And as soon as you just drag and drop it in here, a pose that you want, just click enable. And just only choose open pose. You don't need the preprocessor because this is already a open pose. Right? You open this, it's just not gonna work and it's just gonna take a lot more time for you to process. You can choose balance, any setting you want. Just I leave it at crop and resize. And back here, I'll just generate an image. And you'll see a process, and it should just work perfectly fine because the resolution, the width and height is the same, and I just use high res to upscale the image. It should be perfectly fine, and as you can see our basic image and our open pose seems pretty accurate if you guys like this I can take some more time and create more animations for the open pose I did not plan to add hands and feet for it it's because it's, it's not really a part of open pose and it most likely will affect the results right here this is the open pose right here that's the result 
doesn't look that bad. Looks pretty good. The hand's a bit ruined. I'm working on a Laura that will focus on fixing hands. Hopefully, the result will be well. I mean, I've, I've been testing around quite a while right now. Uh, it's getting somewhere. So yeah, this is pretty much it. You can just use that video, choose any frame you want, export it, put into control net, and then you can apply it to your image. Have fun.